Hey, it's me, Lazy Boy here, and uh, a few hours ago I started drawing a Wii Remote. Started with the outside, then with the four uh, player light things, whatever they're called. Then I started with the Wii. The W was hard. After a long time trying and trying to get it all equal, I just decided. Oh, wait a minute, I can copy and paste it, and then flip it over. So I copied one side of it, pasted it, and flipped it over. And the and the two eyes on the word we, they're not close to the W at all. And I'm looking at the picture right now, and it doesn't look like it's lined up on the ground. And so after I started, and after the Wii part, I started with the uh, 1 and 2 buttons. And I copied one circle to make it exactly equal to the second one. I just do lines for number 1. It was really easy. One straight down, one diagonal. And um, for number 2, I didn't use lines much. Just 2. And one circle. I used one circle. Uh, I erased some of it. Drew one line going diagonal, and then the other line going straight across. Then I started with the volume speakers. Oh God! I, it took me a while to get them working. I had to use circles and squares. It was really difficult for me. I had to try and figure out why. And yeah, it's still a little too much on the right. Most of it is the home. I had to zoom in all the way just to see what was going on. It's still a little hard to see, but um, so it was still hard to see on the Wii Remote too. Plus, it's a little darker. Sorry about that. And uh, the two and the three circles on the minus home and plus buttons. I copy and pasted the subtract or minus <laughs> circle and copied, pasted it, then I pasted it again to get the plus and home. And the home and of course just lines with the minus and um, plus sign. And on the home I well just picked one of the standard colors. I didn't have to edit the other colors like I did before. Um, It was kind of hard for me to try and uh, get it right to look right on the whole picture from your view and well my view right now. So I just <coughs> excuse me, my voice seems a little different now. Uh, a little scratchy and. I just do one triangle. I didn't use lines or that shape or the well anything else. I just did one by one. One uh paint grip or whatever is supposed to uh whatever it's called. I don't know. Um I'm distracted right now. I'm watching TV. Sorry. And, yeah. I just drew a square within the... And erased it. In the middle. But then I go on to the A button. On my remote, it is definitely darker on the outside of the A button. And I could, like, re rotate it around a little bit. And it would look more light in the middle in the center near the A. So I made the outside part darker. It, it looks a little too tinted on the, my drawing. And then I used the same stuff I used for the outside part of the A button on the A button. And, well, <laughs> on the A. So then I just well, did that. And well, you know that part. And I want to get a new take right here. So hold on. 
And uh, so now the control pad. It was kind of hard for me to get it even. I was about to do the whole thing, but then I just decided to do the top part and the left part. Then I could just copy and paste it and flip it over, you know, all that stuff. And the lines, I made sure they were even. I just zoomed in. It seemed easier that way. And on the power button on the Wii Remote, all I had to do was easy. It was easy. All I had to do was just copy and paste one, the minus one, erase the minus. It was a little hard at the beginning. Then I just put in the red standard color and did that. And gosh, I'm gonna take another take, but still, um, yeah, it was a little hard at the beginning. It took a while for me to do. Got it on these sads on paint. And uh, the power button, it got on the sides, straight line in the middle with a couple squares. And uh, on the Nintendo, that was easy. I just used lines, circles, and squiggly lines to make the ends. So that's how I did it. And I hope you enjoy my picture. And make a video response of another one just like it. Please. Bye.